Hello everyone, welcome back to How to Tech with Kyle. Today we're going to be showing you how to edit your notification settings in the Battle.net app. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to help us out with the algorithm and leave us a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Awesome, well let's go ahead and open up the Battle.net app. From here we're going to click on the little person icon with the cog and then we're going to open up friends and chat settings. From here, we're going to go to notifications. So there are a ton of different notification settings that we can change here. Let's go through them really quick. So show Battle.net notification count and taskbar. That's always a helpful one to know because it'll show you uh, a number down here similar to this Discord icon as to how many messages or notification items that you have. Um, you can also show these on your, you can change this to your secondary monitor, monitor essentially, or you can change this to a different part of the screen will, where it will show you the notifications. I prefer bottom right because it's the default for most applications. Um, this is a helpful one that's set by default, hide toasts when playing a Battle.net game. So if you have a game open in Bnet, it won't show you those notifications on stream and essentially take you out, or it won't show you them on uh, Battle.net and it won't take you out of the game or bother you while you're playing. So this is also a helpful one to use. I always uh, check it. It's unchecked by default. So you can set this, for instance, if you have Battle.net open all the time and you're playing a Steam game full screen, if you have this unchecked, it will still show you the Battle.net notifications, which is, can be a bit annoying. And I really don't like to close my Battle.net app just in case people try to message me there. So I would suggest always enabling this. Uh, play Battle.net sound notifications. I usually like to leave this enabled just in case I'm away from uh, my keyboard at that moment. So I'll go ahead and just turn it down a little bit. Mute sound for friend notifications and chats when playing a Battle.net game. So this is similar to the one above up here. It's just if you're in the middle of a game, it won't bother you with these notifications. So we'll leave that on by default. So uh, notification settings down here just get a little bit more granular. Here are some of the chat settings and some of the voice settings. Um, I like to usually leave all of these ones on. This is specifically when you're in a voice chat uh, with someone via the Bnet app. And this is obviously when you're also in a chat with someone from the Bnet app. And a uh, friend goes offline. Don't really, we're not really bothered there. Friend comes online. I prefer to just leave this at favorites. And uh, obviously if you have friends here, you can right click them and add to favorites and that'll put them into the favorite category. And I think that's uh, definitely pretty helpful uh, to have because you have a lot of friends that you may add here and there that you're not necessarily very close with. So this is a good way to kind of focus on your close friends that you want to know an update on what they're doing. So you can join them and, and have some fun playing as a group. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the Battle.net notifications. This is where everything is listed. So you can change everything you need from here. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. I uh, hope you learned something today, and we will see you on the next video.